today's the day, you guys. We are about to walk into the doors yep. this morning and go find out a lot about our future. And we are really grateful for that, that we are gonna get answers. I think that alone in itself is gonna, it's gonna yeah. either be really hard or it's gonna be very hopeful. It's gonna be a miracle. There's just so many thoughts and emotions going on. I'm actually surprised I'm just not an actual wreck this morning. Yeah. I, For any of you who is going through something like this, it's very, very difficult. There's a very big burden that you feel like you're always holding. There's so many emotions that you're going through. But you know what? In the end, like I think we are staying hopeful that we can have this miracle, and we're trying our best to align our will with God's will. Yeah. So I guess we'll just kind of go forward with faith and see what happens. I think that's the biggest takeaway from all of this is just trying to know it's out of our hands this morning. It's it's even out of the doctor's hands, honestly. It's kind of just up to God and yep. we will see where we go from here. I do feel an overwhelming sense of peace this morning for whatever reason. We just have to say thank you so much for the well wishes, the prayers on our behalf, just the overwhelming amount of love you guys have shown us through this rough journey over the past almost three years honestly mm -hmm. um it's just pretty incredible and we have definitely felt your love i feel like it has raised our spirits reading through your messages and just knowing so many of you are thinking about us at this exact moment so yeah, we really really appreciate it we love you guys we cannot thank you enough and regardless how this turns out like we just want you to know that we genuinely love each and every single one of you yes and we believe in miracles but we also have been praying for the peace and the understanding if it doesn't go the way that exactly. we are hoping as well exactly and ultimately in the end i wrote this over on instagram i finally got on social media just really late last night because we just had to thank you guys for all the messages but really we're just putting all in god's hands right now so yep. we're gonna walk in there and regardless we are gonna have a beautiful family one day well i should say add to our beautiful whatever way that means please share this with anyone you guys know who's experiencing infertility or male infertility we hope by sharing our story that it helps those out there struggling with this as well well we're gonna head on in there and i don't know when we're gonna pick up the camera again <laughs> so we'll see you when we see you we love you guys They just brought us back to this nice little private waiting room, yeah. which is awesome. This couch is extremely soft, and there's a massive TV. They got snacks. That's great. So look, there's I two other monitors right here. I wonder what those are for. I wonder if you can see what's going on. What? I bet this is the waiting room for you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We're all see, very nervous and excited right now. But we're definitely very grateful to be here to have this opportunity that medical advances can make this opportunity for us. So even we're just possible. gonna, yeah, even possible. So we're just gonna have faith, hope, and move forward. And just really, really grateful for this opportunity. I'd do anything to trade places right now. <laughs> no, well, I just told Jared this is not the movie I ever want to watch. But no, I've read, I think you got an easy job. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was, you know, I could just lay back, relax, um, my gosh, but this is really nice, they provide all of this. Yeah. So they just told us a medical assistant would come in and kind of just explain how everything's going to go down today, because mm -hmm. we were kind of wondering, you know, is Jared going to find out what's happening actually during it? He's awake during this. They yeah. just, it's local anesthesia, so they just numb him pretty much, and yeah. he's awake, and the surgery itself, we've been told, can go up to three hours. Yep. So we'll kind of know more once we get kind of briefed on how everything's going to happen. But that is one thing we've been really kind of curious about is, you know, is he going to find out? Am I going to just how it all yeah. kind of goes With these down. monitors, I wonder if she's going to find out before I do. I don't know. This is, it's all a little crazy. Mm -hmm. Time to get ready for the ball. <laughs> we did make one little joke. <laughs> I go, well, choice Cinderella, you got to get ready for the ball. <laughs> Bad choice of words. But you know what? You can have a little humor through all yeah, of this. Guys, we wouldn't be able to make it through. A laundry list of things yes. to do post-op. Yes. Just to say I'm excited, but not looking forward to it. Yeah. This is how things are going to kind of unfold. The surgery can go up to about three hours. I can go in there with Jared, kind of just sit by his head. They're gonna put on a movie for him. He's awake during the whole surgery. 
Um, he is gonna have some pain medicine in him and then obviously be really numb. So I may go in kind of just see how things go. Also, I can sit in here and they actually have a few TV monitors where you can actually see the microscope. I'm really nervous for the part where they do the shot. So now that they've taken the sampling, they're going to look at it very thoroughly under a microscope and they say that they would let us know in about two hours if they find anything. Yeah. They said that you want to have at least about 20 to 30 sperm and so that's really what we're hoping for right now. Um, initially he did like a kind of like a quick search he said through about a hundred slides said he didn't see anything. But he says that's expected. Yeah, with he says it happens about 90% of the time. This type of genetic disorder, he says 9% of the time, that's what you find, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, so. We're not giving up hope yet, you guys. Um, no, no, not at all. Not it's, yet, but. It's, uh, he said they're gonna look through about 10,000 slides very thoroughly, so. And the microscope, apparently what takes them a few hours would take another like facility yeah. without this type of microscope, like days. Yeah. So it's pretty incredible. Yet again, we were in there talking with him and he is the most incredible doctor. I oh, he is so kind, so nice, nicest. takes the time to just listen to you. Yes, he, squ he squozes it as you guys know and I, I just told him thank you for not making us wait another, you know, few months for this. Like, be excruciating. And one really cool thing we didn't even know this is they actually do all fertility work here at this clinic as a charity yeah. so cost is very low this mm -hmm. is the only clinic in the u.s where they don't put you under anesthesia it's mm -hmm. local anesthesia and it was just incredible you guys yeah. just being in that room seeing the medical technology his skill set like just everything it was just kind of overwhelming yeah um, yeah it really was I will say this, for any of you guys out there thinking about doing a micro I mean, definitely do it if it's your last option. The numbing part, it's extremely painful. Yeah. yeah. Like, extremely painful. Jared did so good, you guys. I'm so <laughs> proud of him. There are moments in there when we were all kind of laughing. There were moments <laughs> tears. There was just like a lot going on. We, yeah. They were awesome. They said, record whatever you want. They said people do it all the time. Yeah, it's good to document but, it, you know, even if this doesn't, work out in our favor like we want I we do want to share it with all of you guys especially those of you that are in the same situation because we hope that your experience is you know positive and 
to and we, know what's kind of yeah what's coming it's like we share our life and the opportunity we have to share something like this that could help other people i think yeah we definitely want to do that and i i don't know if i've said this on camera but jared being open to sharing this very personal part of his life i am so incredibly proud of him we definitely talked about it and you know yeah. it's never something that we ex i expected him to share anything same with me as we talked through my fertility things mm -hmm. um, but it's something that we definitely felt like we needed to and we have this platform and yeah we, we want to awesome with that oh, thanks baby no we really want to be able to share it to anyone out there that's going through this because we know how you feel and we've been through it especially one of the hardest things you've had to go through yeah, yeah. i almost kept it together <laughs> you guys in there i almost did there were definitely times during the surgery that we both just were in tears and yeah crying with each other pretty we were trying to be quiet because obviously you know there's yeah, other there's... people in the room but it was just an overwhelming feeling of love um, especially for sweet jared and <laughs> Yeah, in our future family. So yeah, we're gonna have a family, guys. How, however it turns out, we're gonna have a family, and we're definitely very excited and grateful for that. And we're very grateful for the modern medicine that there is out there today to be able to make this possible. And I didn't really see much from my side, just because there was like a big blue curtain, so I couldn't really see much. They did give us an iPad where you could actually watch them perform the surgery, which was hard to watch at first, but then. I actually did want to watch it just to see like what was going on yeah, and learn about it and I think knowing what I know now I'm grateful that I did watch. Yeah I think we'll probably do another video just talking all about the actual yeah. surgery stuff because it is incredible what they do what yeah. they do for any of you that are d going through this and you need a micro tessie we could not recommend this facility enough where we went it's the Mel infertility clinic here in Orem Utah and like I said, yeah. just feel super, super grateful to have found this, to yeah. have everything fall into place. He was telling us that 92% of their clientele is from either out of state or out of the country. Yeah, which is phenomenal. So with that, you guys, I think we're going to go <laughs> ahead. We actually have to go get some pain meds for this guy. He said yeah. make sure not to miss, that, yeah, miss the window. They need to overlap a little just mm -hmm. because it'll be really, really painful for him. So yeah. we're going to go do that, and then we are going to wait for that phone call, and um, we'll go from there. for giving us a well, call. No, of course. Um, unfortunately, I don't have good news for it. Um, we we had uh, five different people look through, oh, probably 30, 40,000 screens, if not more. And um, yeah, we didn't see any sperm on any of them, wow. any of the areas. We tried to be real, real, real thorough and look, you know, even more than, than typical. Oh, that's um, really nice you guys. Yeah, but just didn't didn't see anything. So thank you so much. We really, really appreciate everything you guys did, and um, yeah, just thank you. No, of course. Okay, All have right. a good night. Have a good night. We'll see you.